What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here, back with another transfer window update video to bring to you today. Just three updates to bring you. Um, one is about Gedson Fernandez, who we've spoken about a lot so far on this channel and in the media and everything else, but it looks like Gedson Fernandez will be the first signing under Jose Mourinho after he completed his medical yesterday. Um, he's yet to be confirmed by the club as of yet, but I imagine that's going to happen today or tomorrow. There were pictures of Gedson in the stands at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium uh, watching the Spurs-Chelsea game with his dad. So there must have been signs then that he was coming to us. It's rumoured that he rejected West Ham to join Tottenham. Um, so all good signs, to be honest. Um, in terms of what, a player, what kind of player we've bought, he's a box-to-box -box midfielder. He was one of the Benfica Youth Academy players that they had massive, massive hopes for. He was in the same uh, lineup and youth academy setup as Jao Felix, who obviously moved to Atletico Madrid in the summer, um, who's hit the ground running there. He was thought of in the same kind of mold as Jao Felix in terms of potential, so that's a good sign. He was in the starting lineup pretty much week in, week out last season, and he had a great season last year. Um, but this season he's fell out of favour with the manager. I think they kind of fell out because because uh, Gedson was playing out of position, mainly on the right-hand side of midfield, which is not his natural position. His natural position is centre mid. So I'm hearing he's a very similar player to Sissoko, just that he has end product and he can kind of shoot, he can cross, and, and he's got that end product, which we're crying out for at the moment. So look, let's hope it's gonna be a good signing. I haven't seen him play. I've just seen a few YouTube compilations, and but to be honest, everyone in the whole world looks brilliant on a YouTube compilation. So. There you have it, Gedson Fernandez potentially looks like going to be the first Jose Mourinho signing for Tottenham and what a surprise that he's Portuguese. Moving on to another incoming player or potential incoming player, it is rumoured that Napoli have offered us the services of Fernando Lorente for six months until the end of the season, just six months after leaving Spurs to be honest. I think, to be honest, I think it was a mistake getting rid of him in the first place. I thought he'd done brilliant last season and a bit of a slap in the face to him just to offer him cut wages after the season he had. I think that they should have offered him a year extension and probably on the same wages. So it's a standard Daniel Levy move, to be honest. You know, the guy's aging, 35, 36 years old. But I thought he had a great spell at us last season, proved so many important moments, and especially in that Champions League run, coming off the bench knockdowns, winning goals, you know what I mean? So I think, would I sign him now? I think the time has probably gone for Fernando Llorente at Spurs, but I wouldn't have sold him in the first place. So if he was to come in, I would still expect someone else to come in. So I wouldn't want just him and no other striker. I think if we were to get him, bring in another striker as well. So that's my piece on Fernando Llorente. Well, let me know in the comment section below, would you want Fernando Llorente to come back to Spurs or should we be looking higher than that? Personally, I think we should be looking for higher than that, but if we were to bring in him, then I think that we should bring someone else in as well. And now, last but not least, let's talk about Jack Clark, who we, re we recalled from Leeds on loan um, at the beginning of the January transfer window, but it looks like he's going to be going to QPR on loan for the rest of the season to joining up with fellow, fellow Spurs player Luke Amos, who's also on loan at QPR. So, yeah, so there you have it. Gedson Fernandez in. Fernando Llorente has been offered to us and Jack Clark potentially going on loan to QPR. Let me know what you think of these transfer moves. Like, subscribe and comment below. And as always, come on you Spurs.